Okay, we live? We live. Oh, right. shit, okay. I ain't got no shades on. That's fucking tough. Sucks they to got, They're going to see my eyes. They're straight. going to see your eyes. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, do the intro, because I'm still trying to get these up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Friday Night Edition, the pre-wrestling weekend edition. Jeez. Uh, the pre-wrestling weekend edition of the Being King podcast. The, the pre-wrestling. <laughs> Well, the pre SummerSlam weekend edition. Of I mean, the it's not just podcast. SummerSlam. That's why it's SummerSlam weekend. Takeover is a part of SummerSlam weekend. There's also AEW. Yes, right. We got yeah. professional wrestling weekend. It's just we I'm, got, try, I'm trying to put your niggas over. I appreciate that. We got some shit this week. Good God Almighty, man! Like we got a lot of stuff to go over. So this one is most today's stream is going to be mostly well today's and Monday's stream are probably going to be mostly wrestling based I mean there's not much I mean well, we gotta talk about the playoffs a little bit I mean the NBA I mean yeah I'm say, I am said mostly wrestling mostly yeah, yeah yeah yeah. we're gonna talk about we're gonna, we're gonna go a little bit into the NBA playoffs we're not gonna try to go crazy there no. because this we got a lot of wrestling stuff let's get let's get the NBA playoffs out NBA the way. playoffs Portland got rocked last night by the Los Angeles Lakers I'm a little disappointed I and, like um, I like Damian Lillard so you know we learned that the Lakers it, it's the Lakers ball we learned that we learned that from LeBron. It's, it's their ball. Don't try to run away with LeBron's ball. Hey, yeah. if, if LeBron's ever playing street ball and somebody tries to walk away with his ball, he's getting it back. He's, he's getting it back. He's going to scrap He's going to make a screen. He's, a screen. he's going to make a scene. He's <laughs> going to make a scene. He's going to throw, throw a screen. He's going to um, throw a screen TV. Um, we so. also had, currently at this very moment, the Celtics are beating the 76ers. And I am very, very happy. That's great. My eyes look weird. I don't like this without shades on. Oh my, my eyes gosh. look freaking weird. Well, right now. it's not like you can put shades on. It's not even sunny. I'll wear shades and even when it's if, pitch black during the stream. I said it's not sunny. I mean, it's raining. I guess so. I we've guess never so. we've never streamed while it's raining. It's the first for everything. Good old no, first. Good old notebook vibes. Our going first on. rain stream. Pause. Did you even catch what I just said? Yes, I did. Okay. Hey, that's right. why I stopped talking. Okay. Godly. All right. Okay. All right. Anyway, I hope that Boston sweeps the 76ers because he, he just sucks. I hate the You're Celtics. just a Philly hater, man. I am a Philly hater, and I'm sorry. You versus EDP at TakeOver 30, honestly. Who's EDP? Oh, oh yeah. No. <laughs> you that versus sit, that, nigga that is a me. match. That nigga will sit on me and crush me. Let me throw them hands. I mean, you'd be all right. I mean, of course I'll be all right. I'm going to win the match. But he's going to sit on you and pin you, though. You just would you... Oh, no, I'll be able to kick out. I'll still be able to How do you want that man's 700 pounds? How are you going to kick I'll out? I'll still be able to kick out. I'll still be able to kick out. That's Yokozuna right there. I will still and be a half. Able, I will still be able to kick out. I'll still be able to kick out. And he'll have... The worst part is I'll be able to kick out, and he's just going to stay on top of me. So I'll have to keep kicking out. Because <laughs> it's not like he can get up on his own. <laughs> Bro, can you... Never mind. I'm about to say some off shit. Um... <laughs> Anyway, uh, all right. So the NBA playoffs happened. Uh, the U- what the Utah Jazz played. Oh yeah, the Utah Jazz caused a little bit of a manhandle. There, bro. Why is there no defense going on in these playoffs, man? Because it's not like it's not clutch time. It's not crunch time. There it's is not, no defense whatsoever not, in any game. It's not like big time stuff. Like we gotta wait. To, you, you gotta bro, wait to the West Finals and then East. It is just you gotta wait to the finals where everyone's got a shot to go to the championship. That's when it gets dude, real. We, this is just murders back to back on TNT, man. It's I mean, just look, saw the mix. I mean, you got folk who can make shots like Dame Lillard, who takes it from the dang logo. How do you how do you stop that? I figured we would see defense in L.A. and Portland. No, it doesn't really matter. Damn, it really doesn't matter. Damn. I mean, come on, you got Dame Lillard. He's not known for his defense. He's known for the, taking them crazy deep threes and hitting them Jones. So of course, of course, they're going to be high scoring games. LeBron can do it. Dame Lillard can do it, okay. and then they both got they both got a bunch of teammates who don't like play who don't like playing defense. True, I mean, that is very true. That is very I true. Know, I mean, oh, but uh, it's hard to keep up with all of this when we got to play off this deep, man. Yeah, like Houston and OKC. That that that's a series that should be being played in an arena full of people. That's something we deserve to see. Yeah, you got, you got. Honestly, I'm I, holding. I have gone blank. I, what's my man's name? You got Russell. Russell the other guy from the guy came, James James Harden. No, no, the other guy on the other team. I'm, I'm going blank. Help me. Chris Paul. Chris Paul. Chris Paul. Thank who you for the tag. Be, who used thank to you. play for Houston? Exactly. Thank you for the tag. Okay. Wow. Um, Chris Paul, 
You got his return to OKC. It's literally. I mean, his return to Houston. I'm getting confused. There's no return to anything. There's no return to anything. Chris Paul. Who? Oh. He's, playing, he's just playing against his former team. There's yeah. No, there's no returns. I know, but you if this was a, if they were doing the arena gimmick, where they're going back and forth in arenas. Oh, well, that's not, well, that's not as big as if he were to go and play against the Clippers. Because the Clippers, when he was with the Clippers, he was just a menace. He was. He was. With Houston, it was just like him, James. Yeah. 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 But, but anyway. other than that, it's like, eh. And I, I still don't understand how the Rockets can't be better and they constantly have all these great teams. I don't know. That's, that's a good point, man. Because the Rockets. Like, I honestly thought LeBron's best chance at another championship was with Houston. Before he, like, when he made before he made the move to L.A., I thought, I thought LeBron's best bet was good Houston. If he was looking for a title. Would you not agree? Oh, you're saying, oh, you're saying when he was leaving. When he was leaving. The, when he left the Cavs. When he left, when the, he left the, Cal- the Cavs the second time. Yes. Okay. I thought you were talking about when he played for Houston. I was like, uh, LeBron never played for Houston. <laughs> look. Look. Okay. It's hard. Hey, look. You couldn't remember Chris Paul's name, so. Uh, all right. We're here. I'm just trying hey. to get through this, get to the good stuff. Right. Uh, I, mean, I, know. I know. I know. I know. Um, I'll be honest. I've lost all interest in the NHL playoffs. Since, since it, Fred's it, lost, like <laughs> I don't care. I don't. I've, I've tried. Do we have to talk about that? Uh, we don't. Dallas Stars won the series last night. I, I saw that. It was oh, on. Um, we we don't have interest unless it's the Predators. I'm sorry. We really we really don't. I'm I mean, sorry. the fight. I watch a fight. Fights are cool. I mean, fights are great. Fights are cool. Um, everyone loves to scrap once in a while. In the sports news, oh, Marco Andretti took the poll for this Sunday's Indy 500. Grandson. Great grandson, maybe the great great grandson of one of the greatest of all time. He's not the great great grandson. He might. Just the, I think he's just the grandson. I'm, I'm making the joke. I'm trying to make people laugh at home. I'm trying to be entertaining. <laughs> all right. You're not an entertainer. You're not an entertainer. I'm more entertaining than you. Well, I'm not about entertaining. Cedric, be entertaining. I'm not about entertaining. What are you about? about? I'm just about me. So, I'm about being dominant. I was, told, I was hoping that would rhyme or something like that. Something no. you put on the shirt. No? I'm not about flips and tricks. I'm just about spears and kicks. You can't. There, I didn't set you up for that. You can't I just say care. that. I like, say it. I say it all I want. We're going to make that t-shirt, by the way. We're going to make a t- We're going to get. We're going to have some merch out at some point. <laughs> Can we get more than seven people watching this show before we get merch? What do you mean? We, we get on the daily. We get double digit views on the daily. Do we? Most of the time. You yeah. can tell how much I pay attention. Um... <laughs> So, uh, anything else in sports? Nope. Nope. All right. I mean, there. Don't say I mean. Hold on. What well, we got? okay. There's, there's a little NCAA news. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. It's not big. It's not big. But I did find out that. This mine? No, it's mine. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I did find out that any player that plays college football this year will keep their eligibility, and and it goes over to next year too. Good shit, NCAA. So if they're so if you're a junior and you play out your junior year, you get you'll still be a junior next year. Good shit, man. Good so, shit. Uh, other than that, there wouldn't be NCAA much. doing it right. Okay. All right. Get to the fun shit. Now that shit's the over. fun stuff. We did. Oh, we did good. We did good. We're we stayed eight, under ten minutes. We're only eight minutes and twenty six seconds in. Let's get to our NXT takeover thirty predictions. NXT. Wait, hold on, hold on. Before we do that. Before we do that. <laughs> Before. Why you get scared? Like, like <laughs> I do. Before we do that, do you want to review this past week's NXT? Because I actually watched this full episode of NXT. Well, I mean, you had you kind of kind of didn't have much of a choice. Can we talk about how NXT didn't reach a million views like I predicted? No, it, no, no. I was, I'll say I this: I genuinely didn't didn't really care if it actually got. To I don't expect not. AEW to reach a million this week because they're competing with Takeover, but I do think they're going to reach a million eventually. And I don't think NXT is going to do it after that. That was their best opportunity to turn this top. I, I don't think they did enough. They really, I really think it doesn't. I, I don't. I, 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 I mean, we got more than we usually get, and I'm cool with that. Yeah, but you, you still didn't reach AEW's highest rating when we're competing with you, though. What? Y'all, did y'all get it while we were in Corona? Did what? you get your most views while we were in while we were in this coronavirus period? Yeah. Actually, yeah. Did, so we were competing against you. That, so you got like, over a million. We never been. We been over a million twice. That was our first two weeks. Okay, well then. But we've what's always. The big deal? Well, we've got nine hundred something, nine hundred fifty. You've had like eight fifty. We've had. We've been in the nines. We have been in the nines. And we've been competing against you. Okay. So you, it's you lost, buddy. It's fine. No, we you didn't lose. Okay, Y'all will lose eventually. Don't worry. Give it some time. 
podcast. All right, all right. NXT was a decent show. It was a good show. Not, not. I mean, we had we had an attempted murder in the first match. Gargano almost died, but it's fine. It's fine. We're all good. It's, it's okay. Um, Gargano almost died by the match. Oh, we got a shockingly enough, the six man tag match is probably what really. Yeah, honestly, that, that was a good that six man tag. That six man tag really got me lit a little. It did. I was like. Fan Ding, Fan Ding Blatt and Tyler Breezy really doing their thing in NXT. They doing their thing, bro. Maybe it's because they're. I guess it's because it's NXT. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, uh, we got. When did we get the? We got the Pat McAfee thing after that, didn't we? Pat McAfee and Adam Cole. That was like the end of the show. No, it was not. That was right after the six man tag. No, I don't think that so. was mid show because then we got we got the fucking North American title shit. We got Belveteen at the end of the show. Yeah, you're right. That was the end of the show. Yeah, Pat. But, Pat but, was mid show. I don't think it was after that, though. That's, that's I the guarantee only thing. you. We're going to talk about it now, okay? Because fuck it. I, I don't care. We're going to talk about this now. Pat comes out looking like a star. Undisputed <laughs> errors are in the ring. He brought his football players over. He like, brought, was going to do some stuff. He brought 28 years of NFL experience with him. And Pat cut one of the best promos of the year. Am I wrong? Mm. What? You didn't, mm. you didn't fuck with this promo? I mean, I did, obviously, but... Promo of the year? I didn't say. I, did, I didn't say. Yes, pro- you did. I said yes, you did. You said you. You said Pat cut one of the best promos of the year. Keyword there is one of. I didn't say the best. I said one of. It doesn't matter. You still said of the year. He you cut, said the he year cut a top five of the year. You said I'll stand of the by year. that. I'll stand by that. Top five of the year. Mm, I don't know about a lot, but name me five um, others that are better. Nigga, like, I, do you know how hard it is to remember a bunch of promos? <laughs> But I, the Vrick. Pat did a damn good job selling me on this match. And he's a natural born shit talker, apparently. It's not that surprising. I mean, he's, he's done it all the time. He is a net. I mean, we knew this beforehand, but to non wrestling fans, I mean, I'm sorry, non sports fans that are wrestling fans, they they learned real quick this dude's a natural born promo. And it was just great. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Pretty good. Um, kind of wish Adam Cole was super good. Why? I, I didn't honestly. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I didn't have a problem with this I didn't segment. Think, I didn't think he was gonna super kick. I just thought I was like. I didn't say knock him out cold. I would say maybe give him a quick super kick. Yeah. Football players pull him out, and then you see just Pat holding his jaw like, "Oh shit, this guy's for real." Then gives them, "I'm gonna make you my bitch line." Mm. And then I, I was fine with it. I was fine with it. I didn't. I didn't expect him to actually get physical until the until the match. I get that because I, you know Pat. You know Pat's not a wrestler, so. I get that. It, may, it would make more sense. Like, do you want to see Pat take a bump before he has to take real bumps? I don't know. Kind of. I mean, I don't think a super kick would have mattered if he gets super kicked. I mean, like, gets if, kicked into the turnbuckles, falls, football players pull him out of the ring. And he's, yeah. kind of, and he's holding his jaw like, it oh, doesn't really, fuck. It, honestly, it doesn't really matter. It, uh, all right. It doesn't matter. I mean, I mean, it's, it's not that huge. It's, it's not that WWE. Huge the, You're not going to criticize anything they do. It's not a huge. We know this. It's not a huge deal. It's not. I just said I like this segment. I'm just saying I wish I would have seen. I think that would have sold it a little bit better. But I'm still hyped for the match. I would have been fine either way. Um, oh, yeah. I'm hyped for the match. Oh, yeah. Uh, real quick. This preview we got for Keith Lee and Karrion Cross. Holy. It, I, I, I want some heat. I want some heat. This was better than the Rock Austin video. You heard me. This is better than the Rock Austin hype video. <coughs> Give me all the smoke. This was better than the Rock Austin hype video, the Daniel Wait, Bryan which, monster, which, which the Rock? WrestleMania 17 video. Well, nigga, they done my more. way playing. Yeah, they done more. But anyway, bro. Uh, I, I, li- uh, I ain't done putting this over. Give me, give me, give me my time, no. bro. I literally wanted to go to the gym after watching that that promo. Like I just wanted to run around and and blast Metallica. <laughs> they made. I keep on calling Killer Cross. They made Carrie and Cross. I know Carrie and Cross look like an absolute star. Now he'll probably get destroyed when he goes to the main roster because that's how uh, he does. But hey, up right now, why is it NXT? He's a freaking star. I know that's what WWE does. Like he's. But a, you, again, is it just you being negative, man? I. It's I'm, just, a negative, I know. I'm negative Nancy. I'll, I'll give you that. I'm negative Nancy. Don't you want to add? Like. To what? <laughs> to what? I don't know. To you, y- to you the look? fact that you are a negative man. Uh, yeah, you are negative. You don't give. I know that. 
Look, Look, let me start on Dominic. We burn. We burn. Oh my God! Please don't start on Dominic. <laughs> we're not reviewing that. We don't have time. Not Dajakovic. The we're kid not, Dominic. We're not talking. We're not. We don't have time. We okay. Have time. Okay. What? Say your shit. Go ahead. Look, you don't ever give anyone the benefit of the doubt. Anyone, because of all the past stuff. I know that the past stuff. You Makes the me. future look bleak. No, no, no. <laughs> Give this nigga. Give me a phone, nigga. Hey, co- hey, social distancing, all right? Look, I know the past makes the future look bleak, but come on, at least get the... <laughs> the past... Yeah, it does. But it at really least... At least... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I made this comparison earlier, all right? Y'all ever got that, like, one dude in the family that's, like, a drug addict and, like, drinks all the time and always asks for a second chance? He's that cousin that's always saying give him a second chance. WWE has fucked up numerous times. And they keep saying, hey, we'll be better this time. He's the guy trying to say, hey, give him 174th chance. He's the guy. Cluck you. He's the guy. Cluck you. He's the enabler. Shut that up. keeps enabling Shut up. WWE to do this stupid ass shit. Shut up. You seem upset because you know I'm right. I don't care that you're right. <laughs> but I'm right. But I'm right. I don't care. All right. Okay. All right. Are you done? I am done. Stop bashing everything. You bash everything. That's I don't the, bash everything. Yes, I do. said Dominic Mysterio could be a star one day. Please. Could. Why would you bring that up? We're not talking about that anymore. Just say We're it. not talking about that. All right. All right. Okay. Talk, can you please say the... Get on to the dang All dishes. right. Uh, we got some other... You want to talk... You want to finish? No. 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 You don't. I was going to put... We got the Velveteen, Velveteen Dreams in the match. Cool. Get. We're about to talk about that literally. All right. All right. So now we're in a peaceful transition to our NXT TakeOver 3. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> Bro, I just, the Dude, way on. he was looking out the window at the rain falling, just like. <laughs> Shut up. Can, can we get oh, on to look. himself? Can you give me some time? Give me a You're second. on the page. It's not my fault that you're not looking at the page. The longer you yell at me, the slower I'm going to go. So you're sorry. Hey, you're the, you're the one who's trying to. I'm trying to speed this up. No, no, right. slowing it down. Just say you're sorry. We can move on. Oh, you're serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Oh, my God. <laughs> you thought I was joking? You thought I was a game? <laughs> Just say you're sorry. No. Come on. All right. No, I'll fuck it. Um, <laughs> that's tough. We got the number one contender tag team match between the Lucha Things, Brizongo, and Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch. The- They're called Legato Del Fantasma. That. Okay, um, I have Brizongo winning the match. That's all. I just saw these guys feud for the first time. I guess Brizongo. Last I night, I don't know much about the build-up, but I got Brizongo because they're lit. Well, they're putting over they're putting over Legato del Fantasma like monsters. It's really annoying. Yeah, next match is on the next match, matches. Next match on the list is Adam Cole and Pat McAfee. I'm going to let you go first. Sure. It's tough, but I think I think it's going to be Adam. I think, think it's going to be Adam. Adam? I think it's going to be Adam. I think Adam Blue. Y'all know I'm an Indianapolis Colts fan. Oh my God. I gotta go I, I gotta go with my boy. I gotta go with Pat. No. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I gotta go with Pat. You're wrong. I no. I, I I gotta go you with Pat. I want him to win clean. I want I want all the hate. I want him to win clean. <laughs> Honestly, if like this the match starts out with like somebody in Pat McAfee's corner tripping up Adam Cole so he gets it on his knees, and then Pat just runs and punts him real quick, pins him, matches over in twelve seconds. Oh my god. Bro. No. Twitter would explode, and I'd love every second Every, of it. Everybody would. Do you know? How, everybody would rip the mess. I would out just of the lay entire in bed show and just die, <laughs> and just I would be everybody rolling. Everybody would rip the mess out of that entire show <laughs> if Pat goes. If Pat goes and punt kicks. I want Adam that Cole to happen like so that. bad. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, the Pat McAfee show that Monday would be amazing. Oh my god, she's gonna come in with a belt. Oh, he'd make him a belt. He make himself a belt. God almighty. And it'll be like the champion of Adam Cole or something. <laughs> I am the champion of the a- Adam Cole's there. credibility would be dead, but I don't even care, bro. It'd be worth it for that laugh. <laughs> it would be worth it for that laugh. Honestly, God. Oh, man. Oh, Io Shirai and Dakota Kai. Two names that rhyme. Um, For the NXT Women's Championship, Uh, I have... I pr- it's probably going to be Io Shirai. I think it's going to be Io Shirai, but I want it to be Dakota Kai. Because she's freaking hot, but I know that's a bad reasoning. But hey, man, I kind of have I, the same I, I thing. Like, I like wheat. I like women. Sorry, I can kind of go with maybe the Kota Kai. I don't. How has Eo been a champion? Because you watch the show. I mean, she's been all right, but you know, it's hard for me to get behind Japanese folk because they don't. They their promos are trash. Racist ass motherfucker. I'm sorry. Racist marking. 
He is it's the not cut. He's just racist Mark King. It's not. It's just. I just can't get behind him because, you know, then most of them don't speak that much English. And so their promos really, I just can't get behind them. Well, Trump supporting King is. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm sorry. Right. All right. That's too far. Racist that's, as King. Racist that's, as that's King. That's still far. That's still too far. Racist King? I, it's not because she's not. <laughs> It's not. It's not because he's Japanese. It's just because you should, she does, All right. It's it's Japanese and Chinese people. I mean, they can't. Honestly, a lot of them in the WWE, they they don't speak that good English. Aside, so aside their from the racial political podcast, this podcast has become. Oh my god. Um. Shut the, oh, <laughs> with uh, what's her name, Martinez, being alongside Dakota Kai again. Now, I did Dakota I looks that. like looks like a champion, especially if her if she was in her corner. I forgot about that. With Martinez back there? I think I'm going to have to go with Dakota Kai now. I, I, think I, think I, I'm, I think I'm swinging to Dakota Kai now. I think, I think I Dakota too. costs EO time. I mean, Dakota costs EO. Martinez well, yeah, costs. it would be what happened if, if she won. Like, she would cost her the title. Oh, yeah. You didn't really, you didn't miss me. See, I got you. I cleaned you up. <sighs> All's <laughs> necessary. Um, <laughs> yeah, all right, so we both got Dakota Kai. I've got Pat. He's got Adam. I have, um... The Brizongos, and he we has both, we both, both got Brizongos. Okay, on to the North American Championship ladder match. Just the one I want to talk about. Go ahead and talk. I mean, not talk about, but this is the one I want to see the most. Who do you have? Dream, man. I got Dream. You got Dream? I don't, I don't think they'll put a title on I don't on think this they will quick. either, but I got Dream anyway. I have Damian Priest. You have Damian Priest. Damian Priest. No Johnny Gargano? No Johnny Gargano. Wait, who's the fifth one? Uh, we got Grimes. Camp, Grimes. Grimes. If Grimes wins. <laughs> Gra- I ain't gonna lie. Grimes, I'm kind of cool. I would kind of be cool with it if he run. Not cause, just because of his, just because of his obnoxiousness and cockiness, the way he comes. Out. I can't tell if I love Cameron Grimes or hate Cameron Grimes. I feel like he. Would- Sometimes I see him. He's got Bailey heat with me. Other times he's just got, like he's got our truth love for me, man. Like, bro, like Cameron Grimes is so hard to like. <laughs> Really, you can't him. take him seriously in a million years. But the way he just comes, I'm coming for that right there. <laughs> like, what's, what the fuck? We're up? taking it to the moon. <laughs> what? What's going to the moon? Cam, stop. <laughs> Cam, no- shut the fuck up. Like, stop. <laughs> Cameron Grimes might win it. <laughs> I don't think Cameron Grimes is winning. I don't think Cameron Grimes is going to win. I got, I, I, I'm, 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 I got Dane Priest. Okay, well, biasly, I want to say Dream, but I think. I think it's going to be Gargano. Gargano? Gargano. Drano? Okay. Um, I think so. I mean, based on what I saw at the end of the show, they, t- they pretty much told us that Bronson Reed is not winning. <laughs> pretty. That's what they told us. Bronson they Reed is not winning. Whoever Reed is the last one standing in those like standoffs is not winning that Sunday. <laughs> I, this, I've learned that. That's the guy they're telling you. Don't I'm put not- your money on this guy. We're giving him the shot now because he's going to get no shine tomorrow. No. All right. Um. Yeah, I got. I think Damian Priest needs a title. I feel like that. You, would, think, da- you think Damian? I yeah. think it's gonna be Gargano Velvet, or Drake. Well, Velveteen and Gargano are both established stars. I still want it. I want it back. I know you want it with Dream, I want but Dream, man, Drake is my guy. Can you imagine Dream versus Keith Lee for a title unification? That's not gonna happen. I, I, n- I know it's not gonna. Happen. I just said the match. I want to see. I, I just said the ma- well, match. Why does it, it gotta be unification? Why can't it just be for the NXT title? Because I want that. I definitely want why that. Why can't it just be for the twenty four seven title? I don't know. We're just imagining shit. That's why I said it's imagining. Stupid, it's stupid freaking that dumb lady that decided to accuse him of whatever it was again. Well. If that I, hadn't happened, he would be in exchange. What, what if this is true? What if it is true about Velveteen? What if it comes out that it's true? That it happened? How would you feel? Well, then he gets kicked out of peace. How would you? Oh, then. If he gets, he gets kicked out of peace, we're out. We're done. Would you be sad? I mean, yeah. Okay. But. I'm glad he's back. Wait a and, minute. Oh, and uh, Wait a when minute. Dream showed up for that match, hold on. When Dream showed up for that match, I low-key thought it'd be Pete Dunne. I did too. I was kind of, I was kind of hoping you it'd had be Pete forgotten Dunne. on three separate occasions that this man is stuck in England. Because I keep thinking he's injured. It's like, what? Where is he at? Why is he not here? You say get a rowboat. That was hilarious. <laughs> get a rowboat. <laughs> I'm like, find you a rowboat and take, flee the country, take... man. <laughs> Cross the border. <laughs> I was like, find you a rowboat or something. All right. Come on, man. Uh, this site mi- left out of the match. We got Finn Balor and Timothy Thatcher. Oh, yeah, because that was new. Yeah. That, that literally was like. I have Tim Thatcher. You have Timmy Tim? I have Timmy Timmy. I got Timmy Turner. So off. So I guess Finn just, I guess Finn is just putting over people now. Yeah. I got Tim Thatcher. Who you got? I got Finny. 
Finney. I got Finney McFerguson. Finney McFerguson. Phil Bacon. Finney and Phil. 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 Phil Ballard. Phil. Phil. Phil Bacon. Phil. I ain't got no more Phil's. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Phil. <laughs> I was, I was I was trying to I was gonna say Phil not the science guy but that's Bill that's why I was like I you said no Doctor Phil I know I that was that was a layup that was that was an alley oop yeah. anyway on to the main event of this evening Keith Lee versus Karrion Cross Karrion Cross <sighs> you have Karrion Cross I have Karrion Cross <sighs> this one is a toughie man this uh -huh. uh, I have... Wait, who, who does CBS have? They have Keith Lee winning. They have Keith. Uh, They're going with Keith. They're going with Keith. The Central Broadcasting Station is going with Keith. I'm going to go... I got to go with... I got to go with Karen Cross, man. The guy... Um, I, I can see him not winning, but at the same time, I, I, I kind of want him to win. If I have to pick a legit winner, like somebody to win clean and or just like... And like dirty or whatever, like somebody gets pinned and or submitted, I got to go... I got I to gotta go with... Uh, I want to go with Keith, but I don't Honestly, think Karen should lose. Here's, gotta, my, here's my It's prediction. tough to make him look strong. Here's what my one. prediction. I think Karen Cross gets himself disqualified. I think it's fed up that he can't pin Keith and bashes his head with the chair. When he, when he's over, we can't do that. Hits him with the chair. Hits him with the steps. Gets ca double count out. Something. Something to where like he still looks strong, but Keith keeps the title. That's my prediction. I think... I think... Well... Okay, yeah. If I were to have, or he just wins by, or he wins by counter. Yeah. Because he just does something crazy on the outside of the ring that just knocks Keith out clean. The, the steel step spot. Yeah, something like that. If if they but do want, if they do want Keith mm -hmm. Lee to, because I don't see Keith Lee losing the title this soon. If they do want Keith to keep this title and actually beat Karrion, one the one way they could do it was have Dijakovic come out and cost him the match, and that would, uh, even though that would kind of make Keith look like a little bit of a heel. What that would do right there is set up a few with um, Cross and Dijakovic to get Cross away from the title for a little bit. That's the best way I can think of. Yeah, I guess. We'll just have to see because this is a tough pick. This is a tough pick. I'm, I've been sticking with Cross, but at the same time, it's hard to say. <sighs> All right, SummerSlam time? SummerSlam time, ladies and gentlemen. Keep, keep it is the... Keep the crowd entertained. Well, I, don't even, I don't even know what year of SummerSlam this is, but it doesn't matter. We will have it in the Thunderdome this Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Is that good? <laughs> Keep going. I'm not, we're not there yet. Keep going. Oh, okay, we're there. We're there. We're there. Okay. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. We will have okay. WWE SummerSlam 2020 in the Thunderdome. You sound like the actual WWE guy they got now. I don't even. My voice ain't even low enough to get to do that well. Okay, we got the SummerSlam predictions. First match of the day is Mandy Rose and Sonya. Mandy. Ma Ma Mandy. Oh, it's we both got Mandy. There's no way. She if they shave Mandy Rose's head, I will quit the show. <laughs> I will. I will become an AEW fan if they do that. Damn it! I'm. Is that serious? This ball. Agree to that. Agree to that. I will if, not. Agree to that. I. That quit, is a. Be joke. a man about it. That is a joke. If, that is not a joke. Be a man about it. Speaking of not jokes, we, we gotta do this. We gotta do that. You gotta stay clean out there, folks. You know what I'm saying? You gotta stay clean out there. You a football coach now? Like, <laughs> just hyping this. I'm hyping up. I'm hyping up Germex. I'm putting Germex over. Germex, if you wanna throw us a check, if you, wanna, if you wanna send the bag, send us a quick bag. We will promote you like a mother. Bro. It's like, bro, we've already been Pink doing King that. This Pink King podcast is brought to you by Germex. Uh, see stay clean, it. everybody. Dasani, 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 Dasani. And do they have a slogan? Apparently, Kroger brand war. Do they have a slogan? Does Dasani have a slogan? The Slani is the bomby. Wait, what is it? Dasani is the bomby. Okay. I don't even know what you say. All right, we got. We both got Mandy. We can move on from that match. Uh, Raw Tag Team Championships: The Street Profits versus Andrade and Angel Garza. I have Andrade and Angel Garza. I also have Andrade and Angel Garza. You know, right. I hate Andrade. Okay, I we're, hate we're moving this quick. Moving on. United States Championship: Apollo Cruz versus MVP. I have MVP. You have MVP. I have MVP. I also have MVP. Okay. At first, I, at first, I was like, this should have been done already, but we have MVP. I mean, honest to goodness, it kind of makes sense. For MVP to win it at a bigger stage, yeah, as opposed to just a trash bag raw. I, I mean, guess. Come on. I guess. 
Oh, how often do you think we get a retribution during the show? Every match. Uh, wait, like, oh wait, you mean like the actual people or actual like, people showing up? You said every match. Jesus. No, no, no. Oh, good <laughs> Lord. no. Okay. At some point, I, they're I, I thought, the police. I in. thought you were. I thought you meant like, like you know, power and stuff messing up. You know, the power and stuff messing up, or like the. I know. also have Cindric turn turn heel this match. Who? Cindric Alexander. S- why'd you say Cindric? <laughs> Cedric Alexander. <laughs> wait, wait. Were you actually trying? Were you actually saying Cedric? Or yes. Were you joking? I was saying Cedric. <laughs> that sounds the same, man. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Said and sin are. Not it just... would be a sin if MVP lost his match. I don't know about that. It would be. It'd be I a, have it'd Cedric be a sin Alexander if Mandy Rose lost her match. That would be the sin if Mandy and Rose joins the Hurt Business. Yeah, I think that's and gives right. the title MVP. That would, that would I think that SmackDown would. Women's Championship. Oh, uh, before we before we do that one, they said that there's going to be two returns. Apparently, there's a chance there could be two returns at some point. I don't know who. I'm assuming one's Edge. Hey, hey, that means what Nothing if Edge? You can say. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was thinking maybe Edge would cost Randy the title if it would be if it would be Edge. Just Maybe. thought of that now. That would be, that would and then you'd feel better about Drew keeping the title. And then we could keep the edge and Randy feud going. He's not though. We'll we'll get there later. We'll yeah. get there in a minute. We'll uh, we got Bailey and Oscar for the SmackDown Women's Title. I have Oscar. Wishful thinking. I have Oscar. And spoiler alert for another prediction. I also have Oscar. I don't know. And then Oscar's also going to win the tag team titles by herself. And then Oscar's going to come in the main event and win the world title. <laughs> okay. Okay. We get it. Then you she's like going to go to the AE dubs. Right? Okay, we're done. Okay. Yeah, we're done. Now, now you're being stupid. Because I'm pretty sure that's where Kyrie Sane is going to go. But is she actually like, did she retire, retire? I don't know. I, I would say she would go back. Because it said, cause it I said she retired. She would, really? I heard that she retired. Maybe. She would probably go back to New Japan if anything. You're right. I don't know. Because she said she was going back well, to Japan. Well, AEW's so. women's division is trying to get that Japanese market. I mean, look at like two of their, look at two of their three last women's champions. You got Riho, that ninety-five pound ba- ballerina, and then you got Hinaru. Sh- you got Shida as the second one. Uh, I can't pronounce her first name. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, what do we have next on the list? We have Raw Women's Championship. <laughs> so they're going to be back. So they're going to be back to back. I'd be cool with it. That yeah, would make sense. Guess who I got? Oscar. <laughs> who do you have? Uh, I want to be, I want Sasha. I want Sasha to hold hers. Like, Sasha I'm, don't Sasha can, don't hold titles longer than twenty minutes. We I know, know this. this, and that's why I'm upset because I love Sasha a lot. I mean, CBS has Sasha retaining. Okay, I'm cool with CBS. Okay, Seth Rollins and Rey Mysterio's son in a street Prince fight. Prince Mysterio. Prince Mysterio. Seth that, Rollins and Prince be. Mysterio in a street fight. <sighs> yeah, who I they have, got? They got Seth. They got Seth. I as well have Seth. This needs, I, I, being in the ring with somebody like Seth Rollins, Dominic's gonna get like a good rub from that, like a good exposure. Dominic should get. Dominic should benefit from that. He should. Seth is pretty good in the ring. He should. Seth's pretty that gum good in the ring. So, I feel like Dominic. Dominic can put himself over even if he loses. Yeah. Does that? Uh, yeah. I'm excited to see what this kid can do in the ring. I am. He does look good in the ring. Now give he does him look some. Like, give him some time. For his promos to I get just better. put him okay. He does look like an athlete in the ring, okay? He can I hit just a I just need him to look more like a grown man, not a boy. Okay, maybe 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 Well, I mean come on, look at his dad. His dad's like his dad still looks like a boy. Well Even his though, dad's five five. This exactly. kid's six, this kid's six four. He's not six four. He is six four. I don't think he's six four. I'll bet you I'll bet you I'll a bet dollar to the donut. He's six he's four. He's probably six feet, maybe five eleven. No. Look it up. No. He's not six four. All right, want me to leave? Because oh. Seth's not even 6'4". And I will tell you this. And he's shorter than Google, Seth. Google lies. Wait, is he shorter than Seth? He's not shorter than he Seth. He is shorter than no, Seth. No, he's not shorter than Seth. He is shorter than Seth. Google does lie, though, so I'm not... Google does... Dominic Mysterio, height. Dominic Gutierrez is 6 feet 2 inches tall. Okay, he might be 6 feet. Because Google be exaggerating shit. All right, because he's still shorter than Seth, and Seth's not six four. But so, how he got to six two with his dad being that short is amazing. His but mom, his mom must be like six ten. There's we've no seen Angie in the ring. Like I know that's why we're like, uh, well, hell, he, make, is he is he look, Eddie, look, is he Eddie's son? Eddie was five eight. <laughs> <laughs> well, we. <laughs> I don't know. The 
Okay, what do you? And he was five eight. What don't mean did, shit. Did Angie cheat with Batista or something? I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Like, what? I don't know. I, I can't yo, help. yo, I can't honestly, help Batista would do that shit, man. Like, they were good friends. Batista spent good time at the house. Yeah. Man, maybe, I don't know. maybe it should be Mysterio and Batista for the custody of Dominic back then, man. <laughs> I don't know. I think I really don't know at this point. All right, back to the predictions. I can go back to the whole thing because this, but. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> that was a good time. That's good. Uh, I easy. have. Uh, yeah, we both you got said, Seth. I mean, Whoa. well, I guess I got Seth. I don't know. Yeah. Universal Championship between two of the biggest heels in SmackDown. Is that? That's not the main event. Okay. Uh, big, big ass McBald, Mick Strowman. I still got. I still got the fame. I'm sorry. I still have the. Fame. After all this time, you still got I the fame. I still have the fame. Cause now, honestly, I might have the fame too. And the worst part is they're making him look like a face. And you're like, and you I hate I don't him. want The Fiend to be a face. Fiend Not be a right face. now. The Fiend ain't going to be a face. He can be a face maybe years down how the did road. The, how, but did the fiend, how did The Fiend, how can you turn a person like The Fiend a face? Well, I mean, they made Kane a face. They were able to do that. And they made Undertaker a face. I guess. They were both heels when they debuted, but. I guess. I can, but. But I mean, come on. The Undertaker uh, and Kane, they're Hall of Famers. They can, they just well, they like, weren't when they first started. I guess I get it. I get it. I get it. Right. But it's not like, come on, this ain't this ain't no daggone, this ain't back then. If you turn, but if you turn the fiend face, we're not turning the fiend face. If you were to, they're going to eventually. You know this. I mean, sure. Do you Maybe. got? I don't know what you do with the fire with the Firefly Funhouse though. Turn I think the fire, turn the Firefly Funhouse and heal. <laughs> I don't know. Because to me, what makes the Firefly Funhouse not? Corny and stupid is entertaining is knowing that this guy, even though he's coming off as a lovable, you know he's a heel deep down. Yeah. And I think if you knew he was an actual good guy, I don't think you'd be able to like get it's behind hard, it as it's much. It's hard to, bro. Nobody gets behind faces. You can't lie. True. Nobody, nobody gets behind faces. True. That's why people cheered Becky when she turned heel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was the first time that I genuinely realized. Okay. Nobody well, people likes knew this. in that moment that Charlotte should not even should not have even been in that match, let alone win. Yeah. So when Becky turned heel, it got a huge pop. I mean, yeah, but I mean, technically, she turned heel. And I don't even think that pop was supposed to happen in WWE's eyes. It wasn't. It was not. It was not. Um, I was cool, but I was cool with it, and I loved every second of it. I was too. Oh, so I I can't predict this match, man. I I, I do you think Alexa gets involved somewhere? Yes. Who who does she? Alexa get? turns on Braun. That's why I think that's why I had the Fiend winning because Alexa would turn on Braun and join the fun, 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 fun the Firefly Funhouse. I'm sorry, <laughs> messed that up. Do you think we turn Alexa into Sister Abigail? <sighs> that is the and where does maybe maybe do you think Nikki Cross gets involved? Do you think maybe she turns out to be the one that... Do you think it becomes a... Remember how, does, we, does, remember how we predicted The Fiend and Nikki Cross versus Alexa Bliss and Braun? Yes. Do you think that we can still get that <laughs> vice versa? I think Braun and Nikki versus The Fiend and Alexa? Maybe. And somehow The Fiend and Alexa are the faces in the situation? Maybe. Oh, dear God. <laughs> we got a <laughs> lot of avenues. We got so many <laughs> avenues, and we still haven't predicted a winner for this match. This thing is going all kind of ways that we really don't know where to go. I, I don't want to be wrong on this. I don't know why. <laughs> we really don't know what's about to happen. We really don't. It's hard to say. I'm going with the Fiend. Fuck it. I, I'm <laughs> going with the Fiend. I was Braun Strowman a month ago. I've been Braun Strowman this entire time. I did not see him going bald, and I did not see him going heel. So I got... I got we don't even know if he's heel. We don't he, know what bro, he... he tossed... He kobe the Alexa. <laughs> he kobe a an adult woman. He kobe a five foot blonde haired blue eyed woman. Maybe Alexa's heel. Maybe all of this proves. Maybe we're all heels. Maybe maybe that's how WWE ends, and we all find out we've all been heels this entire time. <laughs> Look, it's, I don't know where to go with this. Is WWE being booked by M Night Shyamalan? I don't. Is that know what's going where on? Go Has Vince this. hired M Night Shyamalan and I don't all this? Know. I don't know. Because are we gonna find out everybody's a heel deep down? At the end of this, look, I don't know, man. Like I don't. There, there's no. How way. do you predict a match with two heels? You you don't want to see either one of them win. 
We just want to see him lose. <laughs> you can't even do it. It's impossible. What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> Have them win the tag titles. <laughs> they both lose, and they win both tag titles. I don't know. I don't know. I but really don't. Fuck it. Give me the Fiend. I don't I fucking know. Fiend. Maybe Fiend. Maybe Braun Strowman rejoins the Fiend, and Fiend gives him like that finger poke of doom we saw in Nitro. With WCW, right, I, I, and, we, and it wins that way. They hug and kiss in the middle of the ring. At this point, I haven't the slightest clue. I don't either, man. But let's get to the main event because we got a clue there, don't was we? Was that it? Was that the last? No, we're going to the main event. No, I'm saying is, was there another one after Braun, or is that it? Nope, that's it. Let's go, Drew McIntyre and Randy. Drew McIntyre and Randy. Oh hell! Um, start us off with this, man. I can't. I can't. What am I? What am I? Honest, you, honest, you go first, man. I, Randy, I, I did, I did, I was leaning more towards Randy at the beginning of this. Let me say this: I so, do, I want Drew to win this title, just because of one promo. The, you turned your whole face. Yes. Because literally a month ago, you could. It's probably on stream too. It probably is. It's probably on stream. Literally a month ago, this man was saying Randall Keith was going to win this thing. I still think he's going to win this thing. I just want Drew to win. I don't know. I don't know where to go. I don't know. These last few matches are like almost impossible to say. I think Retribution comes out, costs Drew the title, Randy gets the title, and then we have yeah. And then looks, Drew leads yeah. the charge against Retribution. Yeah. That, so we're yeah. not gonna have Drew around the title anytime soon. Yeah. So it makes sense. And maybe we'll find out who some of the people of Retribution are. Not 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 at SummerSlam, but uh, you know, eventually. I heard that Dominic Dajakovic is a member. I don't know. Because I, th- I haven't th- seen anybody like who's big enough. If, I mean, Dajakovic is pretty big. He is pretty big. But they, remember, they did grow a foot taller. They, they uh, did grow. They grew in. They grew in numbers. No, they grew height. Like look at like. Well, they, they, yeah, because they're different people. So maybe Dominic. They grew one of them. Maybe that's why they got Dominic off TV in NXT. Maybe that's why he got the steel. The steel steps. So maybe. In the head. So maybe this is his main roster call up. Because remember, they, remember he was being talked about coming up to the main roster. Yeah. So okay, okay. So if you okay. do that, I don't know how. Okay. So back to Takeover. I don't know I how. Frick! God dang it! Now you're ruining take. Oh, um, I don't know how. Where are you going? I don't know. He's just leaving. I don't know what to do. I don't. I don't know what to do because now you're now you're ruining that one. How am I ruining? it? Well, you're not ruining it, but now it's 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 changing I, my I'm mind. I'm just going. Cross gets himself disqualified. We somehow got back to takeover. I don't know how. Oh, oh God. But you never told me who between... You said Randy, right? You I'm, think, going, I'm going with Randy. You're going with Randy? If gun in my head, I got, I'm going with Randy. Okay. Jeez. <sighs> what if we got no retribution on the show and Randy wins clean? That'd be a WWE, that'd be a WWE thing to do. Just as a fuck you to us. Maybe, maybe retribution. Yeah, maybe we'll see retribution in another match. What if Rusev says retribution? That would make so much sense right now. That would be great. That would make so much. After the what I heard, the story I went in on that last would, week on the show, would, that would be great if Rusev was in retribution. It would make perfect sense. I'd be, I'd be cool with Rusev being in retribution. <sighs> is that it? Uh, that's not. it. That's it. That that is it. Somehow, some way, ladies and gentlemen, I don't. I. I how do you think it's gonna be? A good, do you think it's gonna be a good SummerSlam? I overall? think so. I, I, think, so. I think we got a good weekend of wrestling. I think, we, I think it's gonna be pretty. Do good. you want to talk about Dynamite? You want to talk about? Dynamite. I do want to talk about Dynamite. I I only know one match, one match offhand. I don't. And that's know. Cody Rhodes and Luke Harper for the TNT title. I did see the new TNT title. How do you feel about that? I like it. You like it? I fuck with it. All right. Well, How do you feel about it? I don't care. Just. Fine, it's better than the other one. It's better than the other one. Look, just look a daggum red marker. <laughs> this one looks. I guess it looks. Better. Looks like a hubcap on a red title belt. Not wrong. It literally looked like you put it on a fire truck, and it looked like it was an accessory yeah. to a fire truck. Um, I'm sure we're gonna have something with John Moxley and MJF this Saturday. I mean, um, I didn't. On. I didn't like what the way they did their last segment. I don't oh, think no. John Moxley shouldn't have even touched MJF. He should have been held back by somebody. Who? Wardlow, his security team, somebody. Like he John Moxley should not have gotten to MJF, let alone hit him with his finisher. Cause now it's like, okay, he's already got his revenge. We why do we need to watch pay per view? We've already seen him beat him up once. But wait, if he, but if they Wait. I, I forget you didn't watch the show. Last week No uh, no, 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 I'm saying what pay per view? All out. This September fifth. Oh, okay. So that's the main event, MJF and John Moxley for the title. Uh, this Who you past, got for that? Huh? Who you got for that? 
We'll get that on that stream. Uh, I haven't really made a decision on that. We will do all-out predictions, whether you like it or not. <sighs> and you will participate and like it. And you will smile at that camera no, the entire no. time. I will, I will suggest I guess. <laughs> You're just going to say a name. Him. <laughs> That's, whoever you pick, I'm going to I, I, I got, gonna be, I got Hogan coming in, doing a run-in. Sweet. So, um, yeah, let him go to AEW. Did you hear the story Where's about Goldberg to come out? And I'm not talking about his contract. Like, AEW wanted to sign Goldberg. When? When they first became a company. They wanted to sign Goldberg, and they wanted to redo the street gimmick. That would have been stupid. <laughs> I didn't want to see... I wouldn't have wanted to see it again after like that. Yeah, I get that. But no, um... Wait, who? Moxley beat the shit out of MJF last week. Hit him with his finisher. And now I... I, I not gonna lie, that hurt the intrigue I have for this match. Wow. Hopefully they can pick it up for Saturday, but... Interesting. I, because like, is it just a, is it just a regular match or is it like? It's a regular match. This is the first okay, match they've had in this feud. But like, I've already seen him hit his finisher and beat him up. So I'm like, why do I why do I want to see that again? Like, if if they had like, if John Moxley would have came out and beat up MJF security team somehow gotten past uh, Wardlow, and as soon as he gets in the ring, MJF low blows him, something like that, and then just hightails it out the ring, that would have been so much better. Because now you got like, okay, i got to tune in and see these guys one-on-one see Moxley kick some ass. But, no, we've already seen that, so now it's like, well. Which, wait, that means that MJF won it. Oh, yeah, I, I, I'm i starting to lean towards MJF. Made it sound like MJF's winning. Now. Yeah. Well, I'll put it like this. Why do you think at UFC press conferences they put security in, in between the guys in case they start fighting? Because they don't want you to... Because they, they actually punch each other. That's why. Well, yeah, but at the same time, you don't want to see them fight right there. You want to see them fight on pay-per-view. Actually, no. I'd rather see them fight right there because I, 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 can't, I can't pay for pay-per-view. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'd much rather see well, In Dana White's eyes, a guy that was trying to make money, he's like, nah, yeah, nah, okay, y'all well, ain't going to yeah. see this. Y'all well, gonna... There you go. <laughs> He's like, I, I would, I would be more than okay. I'm just to see saying, them fight right there, because as instead of paying sixty bucks for it, heck no. I'm just saying from a business standpoint, if I'm Tony Khan, that's a bad move. I feel like he took money out of the own wallet right there. Um, but yeah, that's all. I, that's all I know about for that match for or for that show. Uh, forty-seven minutes. Wow, not a, not a bad show. Yeah. I did not go into any promos this episode. I did not go into any rants. You didn't either. I'm proud he of sounds, you. He sounds. He sounds normal. Not going in on anybody. Not. In, I'm not in no bag. I'm not pulling out. Oh, anything. don't worry. Just wait. Well, just wait till Monday. I'm pretty. Oh sure. yeah, so, something's gonna, gonna happen. Gonna happen. We're gonna have this one thing off. that's gonna that's gonna piss us both off. And as soon as we go live, like let me tell you something, man. It's let like, me tell you something. It's like no, cluck all the intros. Cluck all the intros. We are explaining this right now. If that a, was some bull. If there's a way that we can just cut intro in half, and, like cut it off midway. I can do that. Can you do that? If I'm ever pissed off, I'm going to tell you to do it. I'm like, hey, fuck, no, cut, stop it. Cut the feed. Like, Look, hey, no, we're doing no, this now. No, no, no. No. Forget right, all other sports. We're talking about this right tragicness middle, right, right now. Right in the middle of... of Jose Batista's bat flip. I'm like, no, no. Fuck, fuck all that. Forget Jose. Forget Jose Batista. Forget all of them. All right, we are explaining this right now to you, very much. God bless. <laughs> Monday's good. We're gonna have a lot to talk about Monday. A lot of sports news. A lot of a lot of nah, wrestling news. I don't know about sports news. Well, we gotta talk. I mean, I'm we're, I'm gonna mention who wins Indy 500. I'm gonna mention okay. the playoffs. I mean, well, yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh, but that that shouldn't take that long. That shouldn't. Um, we're gonna talk about that amazing crash we saw in the Indy 500. We're going to talk about the fight we saw after the in, the in the NBA playoffs. That bench clearing brawl we saw in baseball. Like we're going to talk about all that stuff Monday. You don't even. What if all that happened? That would that would really long it elongate the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like Frank. We're going to go. 50, we're going to go an hour and fifteen minutes. Huh? All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's been the P and King podcast for Friday, August twenty first, two thousand twenty. Did you really need to say the year? I think everyone, I think everyone who watches anything knows how, knows this year because you know why they hate it. I'm done. You wrap up the show. I'm done. You just wrapped up the show. I'm cool. You wrap it up again. Say bye to the people, ladies and gentlemen. That has been it for the. Why am I doing it again? Uh, <laughs> why am I actually trying to do it again? But um, we'll see you guys on Monday for our SummerSlam reactions and our NXT Takeover reactions. And our well, and his AEW Dynamite reactions. Uh, that's it, guys. Peace. And tranquility.